Hey guys, it's Kennedy here with Kin Strength Performance and Rehab. So today we're going to be going through the hip hinge. We're going to be using a dowel just to show you uh, the optimal alignment as we're going through this. So we'll start off placing the dowel right along our spine and we're going to be using this as a cueing point. So we're going to start off with our uh, tripod contact on our feet, making sure we're nice and balanced. And now we're going to be placing our head, middle of our back and tailbone against the dowel and slowly sending our hips back and down while maintaining that alignment with the dowel the entire time. Okay, so now we're gonna go through some of the common faults and errors that I see with a hip hinge. Here we got David Turnbull, we'll be going through those with you right now. So David, I'm just gonna get you to start off uh, counterbalancing yourself with your hands and showing me a nice hip hinge from here. Okay, so what you're seeing with David now is the center of gravity changing on his feet and starting to lift his toes up as he goes back. So we want to make sure we maintain that nice tripod contact the entire time and really lengthening that posterior chain. Uh, the other thing that we're going to see a lot of times is the head falling off the line. So if I place this dowel here, we want his head to be in contact with him the entire time. Aside from that, we want to make sure we're not rounding our lower back into here or arching our lower back as we sit downward. And you'll see that with the dowel there. So I want to maintain this nice alignment and now hinge back up as we go through that exercise. 